Hi guys. Welcome to Recap for Reboot, today I am going to explain a movie called Exam. The movie starts on Memorial Day. Because there is an interview of many candidates for a high post in the renowned company. Eight candidates have been chosen for it. They were very excited. All are taken into the examination hall. There were eight seats. There was a placed question paper on each seat with the written candidate number on it. There was a security guard at the door of the examination hall. Then a male invigilator arrives. He tells only you eight candidates have been chosen here. That was not a piece of cake. So listen to me and act according to it. He says, only one question will be asked from you. The duration of time will be 80 minutes. And there will be three rules of it. No one can talk to me or with the guard according to the first rule. Secondly, if you spoil your answer sheet. Thirdly, in case of stepping outside from this examination hall, you will not be considered eligible. Then he asks all, is there any question? All are kept silent. He leaves after saying it. The question paper is blank when they cast their glances on it. There is no written word on it. Nothing was being understood. Meanwhile, a girl writes on it, I am sure that I deserve this job. But guard gets her out, coming to her. Because she has spoiled her question paper. Now they are all got worried. Then one of the boys says, if we cannot talk to the guard or invigilator. We can talk with one another. No one gets them out because of their conversation with one another. So they are comforted. They get understanding that there's a need to search a question in this interview not the answer. One of the boys says, we will be able to search out the question while coordinating. Each of them supposes, it is quite possible. That they may want to check our coordination or intelligence. So it is the cause that they have given the blank paper. One of the candidates is about to tell his name. The second candidate says, our question paper consists only our numbers not names. It may be the part of exam of not taking name. Then they assign the nicknames to each. One is Negro among eight candidates. He is given the nickname Black. And Fair Boy candidate is given the name White. Having blonde hair, a girl candidate is given the name Blonde. There are two more boys and girls candidates. One of the boys is seated quietly. It was appearing as he is not interested in all of them. Afterward, they say, Invigilator did not ban them from their seats. The guard does not say a single word even they stand up. One of the standing girls there says it may be possible that written words on this question paper are invisible. Suddenly, the boy brings that paper before the light, but there was still nothing visible. Then the blonde-haired girl says, hidden text on paper may be visible through pencil shading. It means the hidden question will appear with the pencil shade. White says to her, why do you not try it? Black calls her, stop when she is trying to do it. Have you not remembered that you will be disqualified if you spoil your paper? Another girl says, our question may be on the papers of one another. And we have to answer them. Then Black says. It is also possible that we are required to answer the same question. It may be on the question paper of someone among us. White begins to check papers of all in the light, standing up but a boy who was still silent has not given his paper for checking. White also checks his paper while going to him. But his question paper was also blank. They say, there will be a way with which we may search out the question. Then Black says, it may have been written with that thing. Which is not visible in the usual light. Then Blonde observes, there is a blue light which is being seen on the side of walls. They think as they will try to read this paper under this light but they cannot find the button to switch off the usual light and turn on this light. Then Black tells, it is an emergency lighting. Switching off the electricity, it will be automatically switched on. So we will have to create a blackout. So they start breaking the lights one by one. But some of them object saying, no. Just imagine. If the blue light does not switch on, will you take the risk to stay in the darkness damaging these lights? Then they just vote for it. Four candidates say that we are ready to take this risk. Then they damage all lights. Fortunately, blue light spreads all over the room along with it. Now they check their paper one by one, placing it in the blue light. But it is still invisible. All get upset. Because 20 minutes had already passed. Now they had only one hour. White says we cannot spoil our paper according to the invigilator. But he is not forbidden to spoil the paper of others. The girl who was first got off from the room by a guard. He gives the shade of pencil on her paper, taking it. But there is also nothing visible. Afterward, White suggests, paper should be torn into four pieces while taking it. 
and it should be observed that something is visible here or not. Afterward, he urinates on the paper, putting it in the corner. All are much irritated because of his action and say ill for him. And a silent candidate starts weeping who was seated in the corner. He begins to speak the French language. A girl tells. He is saying, it reveals yourself. One of the boys assumes it may be a game, not an exam. Then he observes a big glass in front of him. He says it may be possible that the invigilator is making fun of us with others while witnessing our movements. But one of the girls tells, no. This company is not like this. Its CEO keeps an eye on everything. He is surely CEO if there is someone. Don't worry because he will not act absurdly. Here a strange fact is revealed. All candidates have come here for a job interview but with no knowledge about this company's name. Actually, it was a company that manufactures a drug for a disease. A disease in which the patient has to take the medicine after every hour. And the disease's infections are gradually slowed down. But the boy says, this company had stopped hiring the people after a great loss. The girl says, no. It is just a pretension before the world. It is assumed that they may have discovered the cure for that disease. Then the boy says, yes. They have been getting progress if it is as such. And it may also be thought that they are hiring us. Then they cast a glance at the fire alarm. They think there may be a chemical that is used to develop the photos. And there may be something on the question paper which will be visible after dropping the chemical on it. Then a girl goes hurriedly and takes out a lighter from the guard's pocket. So it may extract fluid or chemicals as she turns on a lighter flame near it. When she climbs there to take lightly. The lighter's flame cannot reach there. Then White gives a folded paper to her from the below side. Saying, make this paper accessible to it while burning it. But when she notices after the beeping of the fire alarm. It is her question paper. The guard disqualifies her because of her spoiled paper. Now, there were only six candidates who had left. Black is in extreme anger due to this action of white. He says I should punch your lights out. Saying it, all lights are switched off. Blonde says to him furiously, what have you done? Then a boy standing beside says, lights out. As a result, all lights have switched off. Now I will say, lights on, then all lights will be switched on and the lights are immediately restored. Then they come to know that these used to be operated by the voice control. And a seated silent candidate there begins to cry in anger, hearing them. Then White says to him, why do you not tear your paper? Being sentimental, he tears his paper. Then guard excludes that silently seated candidate. And his eyeglasses fall and break while going. Black punches White in full rage. After this, he is knocked out after falling. Then Black ties him with a chair. Coming into their senses after some times, he is trying to utter something. But Black does not remove stripe from his lips. Meanwhile, a girl removes the strip from his lips. He requests, gives me my medicine. Then it is revealed here that White was infectious from that disease. Which drug was being manufactured by this company? And he has to take the dose of it after each hour. He tells that he knew that question. I will reveal it to all of you if you give me a dose but there is nothing in his pockets when they checked. Meanwhile, he loses his consciousness again. Then a boy starts to suspect the girl had untied the strip of white. Because she serves in the same company. He says to her, I have discovered that you are here to keep an eye on us and for our distraction. So you may divert our attention. Tell me, what is the question? She says, I am the only candidate and I have never seen the CEO of this company yet. Believe me. I also don't know what the question is. In the same way, it is noticed that White's body begins trembling. Blonde says to everyone, he is dramatizing the situation. Black says to her, no. He is not dramatizing. He is suffering from the same illness which my wife faced. Then Blonde says, was it a fact that he had that dose? It means that dose is among us if he is not now. And we should check one another. There were only 15 minutes left for them. They begin to check one another but no one can discover that dose. Then a girl goes to that boy who had said, I suspect you. She asks him, where did you keep your chewing gum after chewing? Then she notices that his chewing gum has the same medicine. She gives it to White, going there. But that boy whose chewing gum had this medicine hits on his hand so that medicine falls in the drain. No one was getting access to it. That girl says before the camera, invigilator. Can you not see that he is dying? Then guard gets her off, coming there. Because she had violated the rule. Then Blonde gives the medicine to White, 
taking it out with her pen. Now there were only four candidates left. Then they ask White, reveal the question of ours as we have given you dose. He says, the answer is hidden in this question. The last remaining candidate is the answer to this question. He runs to guard saying it. Because he had a gun. But Black get that gun before him. And he points his gun on White. White says to him, oh. You want to shoot me? So fire it. Black fires his gun but it also does not work. White snatches the gun quickly from him but it is also not worked when he fires. Then they come to know that there was guard's fingerprint on the gun. They activate it, going to the guard. But White points his gun at that boy who had left except White and Black. And he leaves the room in fear. There were only three candidates who were left including Blonde, White, and Black. He says to Black, it is your turn to leave the room. Then Black says, why will I leave? Then Blonde says, all right. I leave. She utters while reaching at the door, lights out. And all lights are switched off with it and she hides herself there. And White begins to shoot to and fro, viewing nothing. He finds that Black is in the falling state when he says, lights on. And he has received a gunshot on his body. Now his eyes have also been closed. Blonde's foot is still in the room when he notices. He thinks that he has been left alone in the room as he has got Blonde out. He says going before the camera, you have got your answer. I have left this room so I got the job. Then the guard shows the time to him on his wristwatch, coming there. He says, look. There are still some remaining seconds. Because that seated silent candidate in the examination hall. He had forwarded a few seconds time in his watch, going there. White thought his time is over so talk to the guard. So guard disqualifies him and there is only blonde left. That silent candidate who was got off and whose eyeglasses had fallen. Blonde begins to check her paper picking up hose glasses. Then she discovers the written question number one but there is no other statement with it. In Vigilator and a man approach there is the exact time is over. The man who was silent seated candidate here. Blonde gets understand that he was the CEO of the company. He was keeping an eye on us while sitting with us. Blonde goes to them and says, no. All are excited by her correct answer. In fact, the real question was the asked question at the beginning by the Invigilator. Do you have any questions? Blonde had replied on it, no. After this, she apologizes saying, I reject to take this job. She tells when the reason is asked that I cannot serve in such a company. Which destroys the lives of others. Then Invigilator goes to Black and says to Blonde. Look here, he is still alive. Actually, this bullet has not been made to kill anyone. It consists of a capsule that recovers the wound immediately while penetrating the body. It will not only cure that disease but also the other diseases of the body. The whole world is struggling to discover it. We have made it and you are being hired for it. Blonde is pleased, hearing it. And she gets the job and the movie also ends with it.